one of uh, a friends of ours asked to do something in getting ready for uh, February. And I wanted to show you a silk scarf. Uh, you can paint things, anything, silk scarves, furniture, anything you want to paint for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm recommending you get, and don't worry about if you don't have all these things, um, you will think about it and pick it up another time. I order a lot from Amazon. I find that they're really good about returning if you don't need something and the convenience of it coming. I would go to the store, but um, Amazon's good. Watercolor postcards are really great. Get a pack. I think you can get them on sale. You can get three packs, uh, 15 cards. You can mail them. You can also get cards that are already watercolor and you just fold them and put them in with the envelope. Those you can also find. And you're looking for, make sure that it's 140 pound paper. There are cheaper postcards that are not 140 pound and your results will not be the same. So you're gonna wanna get 140 pound. If you have them, give me a thumbs up. You're ready to go. If you do, great. If you don't, just take a piece of paper and fold it in quarters. And you can rip that up and you can put it in the mail if you write on the back side. Today, we're going to do some Valentines. And as usual, I like to do a little studying. So I have a folder on my um, computer that is listed with uh, this one is titled hearts. And I just find all the things that I like in hearts and their paintings and their other people's paintings. And I'm not doing it to copy. And I don't encourage you to copy someone else's work. Uh, to me, it's like Pinterest when you make a board and you save other people's artwork or uh, inspirations into your board. I do the same on my computer. And I'm gonna share with you a couple inspiration hearts. This is an artist called Brito. He is a Brazilian artist. I love him. Uh, here are some Oh, we had a little coffee party here. And Pam Signorelli did some Zentangle hearts tattoo. Uh, I think this is Mother Sketcher. That's their artwork. Here's Pam Signorelli. She signed it. I would never copy it, but there's elements of it that's very beautiful. I hope you enjoy. I hope this is inspiring. Look at the puppy paw. How cute is that? Uh, here's a really cool one where they just filled in. Fun, mixed media, lots of paint, uh, heart stretching. Does it have to be a perfect shaped heart? No, look at the flowers. I'm hoping you're getting a little bit of inspiration here. This is Mother Sketcher again. Yeah, I do like that, those um, designs. This is Brito again. This is Pam. So I collect all these, I put them in. I try to keep the name on there, Shelly Walters. And if you can, then you know who the artist is. You can always give them the credit. Here we go. Some other pretty ones. I love this one because it's four or uh, sorry, nine different uh, designs. And this can be an inspiration for a card. You can do nine hearts and do different designs in each heart. Um, this one's a fun one, just a splash. And of course, with sign language and the little uh, hands, everybody's doing the heart. You can do the hands heart. And I think that's the end. Let's see. Yeah. Love. You can write the words love and put the designs inside. And that's it for inspiration for our inspiration. So as you see, I have four cards laid out here. You do not have to have four cards. Uh, I would like it if you um, could just tape off your paper so that you can just have these designs and write your notes on the paper. And then if you want to uh, make them again later, please do. You have a couple weeks, get them in the mail by next week or the week after, and they'll get it by Valentine's Day. Okay, dirty water, clean water. Um, I have written a little note for myself because I wanted to remember which ones we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do four. And don't worry if you can't, if you don't have all the stuff that I have using, uh, please, know that this will be live on my not live excuse me it'll be recorded on art yourself studio and it also will be on youtube i have a youtube channel so if you want to go back to see it again you can do the youtube channel so this first one 
I have a, a piece of paper here. I'm just cutting out. Remember as a kid, you took that big construction paper and you just cut out your heart. Simple. Just cut out your heart the way you want it to cut, the way you want it to look. And you can use that as your pattern. You can do several things. You can, you can hold that down, grab your toothbrush, and I'm going to use a pink. Just digging in there, the pink, getting the tip of the toothbrush wet, maybe drying it off a little bit so it's not too splashed. And splatter. Okay, I'm splattering with the purple there. I'm going to clean my toothbrush off and maybe get a, let's do a red. So getting a red, I want you to just play, have some fun. And then splatter. And I'm still holding that paper down. So I want you to still hold that paper down. Okay, so now you got it all over your fingers. <laughs> That's why you have your paper towel in your hand. And just clean off your fingers here. Okay, anybody, are you with me? Are you giving it a go? Uh, give me a thumbs up in the comments. I think I can see you. So uh, then pick up your paper and you should have a really nice outline of the heart. Okay, this could be, if this were pretty, you could also attach this to your design if you wanted to. I'm just gonna set it there for right now. Uh, so. To do the inside, you could, oh, we got a little splatter over here, but that's not going to matter. It's still going to be a background, still going to be fun. To do the inside, I'm just going to get this inside wet. I may not touch the edge. Just grabbing some water, getting it wet. I always tap it in here so that it's not dripping wet all over my desk okay so i used really deep dark colors here so let's see if we can get some light colors some light and i love when it's wet on wet you just tap 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 and you just let the paint do its thing let's see another color i'm gonna grab an orange it's gonna be bright you can make your own orange if you want Let's just tap that in down here. Watch how it just taps. And we want it to bleed together. So can everybody see this okay? Anybody have any comments? I'm gonna grab some um, of that purple that we used and just tap it in there. Look how fun that is. And I'll grab the red that we used on this side and tap it in over on this side. I taped the paper down so that I would have four designs when I clean it up. Notice how the wet on wet, it's only going to where the water stops. So it won't rub in to the background because I stopped my wet on wet. I stopped the water at that edge. Now this pink to me is really pale pink. These are mostly Daniel Smith colors I love. I think I'm using a... This is a five brush in this style. So it's maybe an eight in uh, another company. The brushes vary, but for these exercises, it's not gonna matter. What'll be fun is now watching that dry. Let's just let that dry right there in the middle. Okay, clean your brush off. Anybody like this one? Give me a thumbs up, let me know. Okay. On this one, you're going to use a sponge. Uh, get your sponge wet. And you're going to have to think about what the heart shape is. You may use this one if you want. I usually don't. But you may, you're just going to think about what the heart shape is. Take a, a pink, and this one is opera pink, and just tap in a heart shape. I'm going to show you, just outline a little bit but normally I don't use the shape. I just eyeball it, which is fine. You, you can do either. All right. I made some assumptions today that you have your watercolors ready and that you're painting along with me. There's that inside shape, but I'm gonna, for now, I'd like to go ahead and 
dig into that. I'd like it to be a little looser. I really don't want that line showing necessarily. You can leave it showing or not, but this is just a different technique I'm showing you. It's funny, I'm looking at the, um, I, I see you guys are here. Thank you for being here. I'm looking at my phone to see the comments and it's a little bit lag behind what I'm doing. And I think I just saw loser. I think it, <laughs> I don't know. I think it just translated and said loser. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so that's kind of drawing as I'm going. I'd like to pick another color. I'm gonna pick a red and do a little tap tap in here with the red. And if you wanted to, you could make several Valentine cards. You could um, have like them set up like this, like I have it, the four of them set up. And then you could do them all at the same time, like each of these steps. Think about Henry Ford and how he did his uh, assembly line. Okay, I'm going to add some blue. I want to be careful not to let the colors blend because I don't want to get a brown. And I hope this inspires you to just get your colors out, start playing. All right, let's get some, what's another color? Hmm. I don't really have like a, I have a cad yellow here, like a medium yellow. I'm going to just tap a few spots. I don't want to lose that heart shape, so I don't want it too watery. Now I think I'm going to let that stop. I usually do a lot, a few more colors, but let's just stop there. Let's get your number three brush, get it wet, tap it dry, and grab. We're going to use a couple of greens. And we're just going to put little leaf strokes in here. You want some on the inside and on the outside. If you did my beginner foundation class, this would be familiar to you. So, Laura, if you're here, you've done this. And um, yeah just play have some fun you could take this and i'm going to grab something i learned in bob ross's class he actually steve ross steve taught it he takes his liner pen our liner brush and gets it super super wet and i really want to use a green here so i'm going to use green and just gets it super super wet full of color and then just drags it along and does little flip de doos I also learned this from Lisa Nappy Reed. Anybody who's local might know Lisa. She had a company called Art with a Cause and they painted garden, garden uh, tools. Oh, she was a beautiful painter. She had beautiful. Lisa, say hey if, if you see this. Uh, here we go. So there's our there's our heart with the uh, sponge after it dries you may want to go in and put some more detail on that one okay this one is called the wax one i like this one this is good for for kids you just really have to because you're using a wax and i just use a candle um, a wax candle uh, you can get them you know at the dollar store and you're just going to draw your heart in you may even draw words or writing or let's do a couple little curly cues here one here even if it's going off the page that's okay too it just adds a little interest so that's your wax when you're using wax and watercolor you can't really get rid of it so you just want to make sure that it's not going to be something that you're going to enter into a contest because you may not want that wax to be part of your painting uh, but it's perfectly fine to use. There's no issues with it. Um, let's do, I don't know, let's pick up a, a bright blue, which is a little different for, uh, I'm going to just do a little zigzag. And I call this the reveal. Get a little water, more water. Zigzag. And the reason why I call it reveal is because how fun is that? Can you see the heart? All right, so that's one color blue let's pick another color blue and fill in a little more when it dries you will you will see the wax design better 
So it's fun. It's simple. You can write words. You can write love. You may want to, with your uh, brush, you may want to just take off some of that color that's on the wax line. I'm just cleaning it off with my paper towel just to take off some of that paint. Just fun. Now, what happens if I take some yellow? And this is what I want you to do. I want you to play. I want you to experiment and just have fun with it. What happens if I take some yellow and just splatter it? Tap. I got yellow on the brush and I'm just tapping it in. What happens? Yes, it does get all over. That's okay. You can always wipe it off. It's just watercolor. And see what happens. See what that gives you. As we know, yellow and blue make... Put it in the comments. What does yellow and blue make? Come on, you remember. Or don't you might be screaming at me. Just scream at me. What does it make? It makes green. I'm gonna let that dry. It's fun. It's okay, it's different. This next one is you can hand paint tiny little hearts, or you can find a sponge. Uh, these are sponge sticks that you can get at Michael's. Get your sponge wet first. Always get your paint brushes and your um, things that you're using to paint wet first because you don't want the sponge to absorb all the color. You just need it to be damp so that you can place your color in there. Um, I got some colors here on my palette. I'm gonna start with orange. Just getting the sponge wet, I'm gonna drop it in. Okay, I could use a little more color there. Let's see if I can get so pleat that out. Wash it off. Let me get that nice hot pink. And honestly, if this isn't going to work, because I really wish I had a smaller sponge for these cards. Um, yeah, it's just not soaking up the water well, soaking up the paint well. You can go to plan B which I'm doing right now, plan B. <laughs> I'm going to grab that same color and use this outline and tap in that color that I want to show up. What I was hoping this would do was going to make a card like this. It's too big for this kind of card, but notice how it's taped. Let's see, the card is taped, splatter, and then little hearts all around. So I'm going to show you that as we get a little deeper. I wanted more. I was going to use these big hearts. I'm going to color that in. It's okay if it goes off the page. That's part of the design. If you look at designs that are coming out, especially this time this time in the year, um, you'll see that they they repeat. They come out. They make repeat patterns. This sponge can get really messy, so don't worry about that. Let's get a red. Okay, I'm going to do a red here. Yeah, there we go. And it's a nice way for you to get an outline if you're worried about your heart. But I'm going to show you how to paint some hearts after this. Just wanted to get some excitement on here. If you're good at writing, you definitely can write inside these, these uh, hearts what the candy hearts look like. I think there was a picture of candy hearts. And let's grab a, a blue. Just whatever color you like. And maybe a green. So with that blue, I'm just going to fill it in. It's a nice little outline. I, some of it is heavy paint. Some of it is not. Some of it's loose. What's so fun about the watercolor is we just tap it in and let, let the watercolor move. So just have fun. This is just a fun project. I need one more down here green, and I'm just... Wondering if my um, sponge is going to dry in time or be um, enough. Be dry enough to pick up a new color without mixing. I really would like a green. Might have some blue in it. Let's see. Just tapping into my pot because remember at the beginning I got all my paints wet. Hopefully you've got all yours wet. And you'll be able to just tap your brush in there. Let's do that. Okay, there it goes. That worked. Grab that color. I'm filling it in. 
And this is good because your other other cards are drying. And you might, once this, you're done with this one, you might decide, I want to put a little more in to those. There we go. See, I'm just kind of letting it move around. I like when it does its own thing. I think that's what we love about watercolor. It tends to do its own thing. So that was the five brush. I'm going back to this little brush, and I'm going to show you how to do some baby hearts. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, let's pick some baby hearts. So the way to consistently make a baby heart is to do one circle and another circle next to it, and then a third, sir, ugh, third circle down here. So it's it's called Swiss dots. When you do repeating patterns, you do Swiss dots. You will do three dots like this. You could do the whole background with this three dots with this Swiss uh, dot pattern, or you just connect the dots. And by connecting, by connecting the dots, you get your little hearts. And I think it's kind of fun when they are all different directions and you might want to tie in your colors that you've used. Let me see if I take that blue and put blue down here, three dots and pull down. If you have any questions, let me know. I, I'm liking this dark blue. Sometimes I'll do three, sometimes I'll do uh, like an odd number four. Uh, it depends on your your paper and your project. I'm going to go off the edge with this one. And since I have this fun blue on my uh, my uh, brush and I'm taking a break, I'm looking at these. This I want to do more. This, I think I can repeat that crayon pattern and add a little bit of pop to this card. Maybe not. I'm just going to experiment and see. You don't like it it's just paper you can always redo it again <laughs> i'm gonna send myself a comment i'm gonna send myself a heart because we're doing hearts let's see if i can see it oh there you guys are i see you hi okay i guess i just had to send myself a message thank you for being here um it says i can bring you in the video do you want to try does somebody want to come in and pop in hi laura so happy you're here. Let me see if I can bring Laura in. I'll send a request. I have no idea what that's going to be because I can't really hear it because I turned the, the volume off. But let's see. Laura and I used to paint a lot together last year when we were doing or a couple years ago. Okay, let's get some yellow in here. It's a light color. Three dots. Boy, my yellow really mixed in with the blue that was on my brush and made a green. It's okay, I still like it. Um, if anybody, if you know, if you know how, you can go ahead and uh, take your um, picture of your page and and pop it in. Just pop it into the comment section, and then everybody can see what you're doing. Or if you don't do it right now, you can do it later. Would love to see it. I like that color that I just made. I'm going to splatter it again on this is dry. I'm going to do a little splatter. Now, I like the outside to be different than the inside of that heart. That's why I only did the blue on the outside. I'm still just playing. I'm going to grab some blue and Do the little zigzags like like a heart monitor like how the heart goes when you're in the hospital and your heart goes up and down <clears throat> just play this one i would love to see a little more so i'm going to grab some red and it will not try to drop it in and you'll see the page is dry the way you can tell is you can feel underneath 
and it's not moving so I can have a little more fun and control. I think this is a Cronacridone rose. It's very pretty. Just have some fun with playing and keep creating. Even if we're done, we've got about five more minutes, just keep creating. Honestly, it's just paper. If you don't like it, get rid of it. I like this blue. There's some blue on my tape. I'm going to grab some of this blue again. And I would like to just put teeny little, teeny little rosebuds in here. Little dots. Or forget-me-nots. I don't need it to describe. That's a little bit big. I don't need it to describe what it is for this card because it's just whimsical. It's fun. Let me dab up some of that. If you, um, two things, you can use a paper towel to dab and you can get a design from the paper towel in your, in your um, drawing. Or if you use toilet paper, it will dab it up and not leave a mark. So some artists like toilet paper, some artists like paper towel. You get to choose because it's your work. Okay, here we go. I'm going to dab that back in. I didn't like how thick that got. Okay. This is the best therapy. If you are stressed and you need a break from the day, get your watercolors out and just play. We're going to have a watercolor full. And guess what? I had prepared a lesson on doing a groundhog. I've got my notes, I've got everything, and it just didn't work. So since somebody asked for Valentine's, I just went with plan B. That's allowed. You're allowed to do that. Um, so it is. Groundhog Day is tomorrow. I did I did the research. Groundhog Day is tomorrow. And um, let's see what I wrote. Let me read it. And how, how many of you know what Groundhog Day is? Right. Okay. So the legend is if he sees his shadow, he gets af afraid and he runs back into his burrow. And that means that we're going to have more uh, winter. But if he stays out and he's happy, that means spring will be coming early. Um, I'm sure we all remember that from when we were a kid. So um, and then who can say how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So that phrase came from your woodchuck which is the same as a groundhog does not chop chop wood at all and that's why they say if a woodchuck could he would chuck as much of wood as he could so i didn't know that until i was doing my research so anybody brave enough to paint a woodchuck please share it with our group let's see some cards uh anything else you'd be interested in go ahead and add to the comments and i will definitely make a lesson plan for it for next week when this dries i'll be able to pull this up and i would essentially have um four cards so hopefully you have some cards i hope you can share them and one more thing i've got a minute here these hearts are getting bubbly if you want them to be a little more defined remember how we can illustrate some of our work when it's dry you can take your black marker and outline and do some fun things with your black marker to do some illustrating. Okay, so I am hoping, I'm gonna do a little more here. I am hoping I get to see some of your work and illustrating. You can write love. If you have good handwriting, please do. And yeah, share your stuff with me. I will see you two o'clock Tuesday. I'll see you next week. And I hope you had some fun and feel a little bit inspired and uh, keep on painting two o'clock Tuesday. See you next week. Bye for now.